Today I'm going to make lasagna. It's not hard. Very first thing you do is brown your meat. I got one pound of um, hamburger and one pound of sausage and I'm mixing it together, browning it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half of this in the lasagna and I'm gonna freeze the other half for a future spaghetti sauce. Then I put about a cup of tomato sauce, just plain sauce, right in the bottom of my pan that I'm gonna bake the lasagna in. And then I put the rest of the sauce, this is just regular Hunt's tomato sauce, um, in with the meat, which I took out half. And then I'm putting in an entire jar of Classico tomato and basil, which I love. And then I'm putting in an entire can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. And I'm just stirring that up. The heat is off now. And I'm just stirring it up to incorporate the meat into my hardest sauce. So in a separate bowl, I'm starting with my ricotta cheese. I've got 15 ounces of that. Then I'm adding a pound of cottage cheese. Yes, cottage cheese. And then I'm adding two packages. These are eight ounce packages of shredded mozzarella. And two brown eggs. They don't have to be brown. Then I'm adding this Italian seasoning mix, um, you know, which is most of the things that people put in spaghetti sauces and that type of thing. You can use oregano and all the things separately, but I'm using this and then I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in too. And then you stir it all up, which is impossible to do while you're holding the camera. Okay, now it's all stirred up. So we're ready to assemble. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to lay the first layer. Um, I bought no bake lasagna noodles. Here they are, it's Barilla. Uh, oven bake, it's ready to go. So you're just gonna put three across the bottom, then you're gonna do your cheese, then you're gonna do your meat, and then you're gonna, you're gonna go from there, all the way up to the top. So there's the three, they can overlap a little bit. And next we're going to do the cheese mixture. So this is about a third of the cheese mixture, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some uh, grated Parmesan from Kraft. Um, and now I'm going to do my meat and sauce mixture. And then you top that with three more pieces of the lasagna noodles. And then you repeat the process again. There's the second layer of cheese. And the next level of meat and sauce. And another layer of noodles. And the rest of our cheese mixture. Almost all the sauce. And then the final layer on top. Now this one's not gonna get top of cheese, just with sauce. And maybe a little Parmesan. And there we go, that's it. It's super easy. Clean off the edge. I'm using my Le Croisette so it has a cover. But if you don't have a cover, you can cover it with uh, aluminum foil. I'm gonna cook it at 375 for about 50 minutes. And then I'm gonna take the cover off and let the top round. And then I'm gonna take it out of the oven and I'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes before I attempt to cut it. It's even better if you just cook it and put it in the refrigerator and then heat it up the next day. It's even better. Okay, it just came out of the oven. It's all burned on the sides and it looks really weird but I bet it's gonna taste good. We'll find out soon.